What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So everybody is talking, and not everybody, but a number of people just asking who fault was it? Was it Mook fault for swinging on bridge? Should he been more professional and not swung on bridge? Is it Bridge's fault for disrespecting his mama, uh, for pushing on him, grabbing on him? I get all that. I'm going to take a different turn on this, though. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100. They all guilty, but I'm going to tell you who guilty ain't being talked about. Who really, really guilty and actually sparked this whole thing. I'm going to let y'all guess. Who is Tay Rock for 500, Chuck? If you ask who is responsible for this, who not being spoke about, if you said Tay Rock, you are right for $500 in Tay Rock. That's who I blame. Why do I say that? Y'all think I'm jumping out the window on this. Pull up a seat. Y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we do. Listen, even if you don't agree with me, you can't say I don't got an argument. See, See, that's one thing none of y'all can say about me. Even if you don't agree with me, even if you don't believe what I say, one thing you cannot say, I don't have strong argument to back up my claims. I just don't be saying things just to be saying it. That's why when I be debating people, I win all the time. I'm going to stand on the truth. You have to defend the lie. I said, tell you, Rock Denner, let's get right off into this. Why was Brisbane so aggressive? Why was Briz so aggressive towards Murder Moon? We know prior before this, what happened? Tay Rock had gotten to it with a dot mob member. But let's go a little deeper. When Tay Rock and Rex got into it, right? When Tay Rock blamed Rex for uh, the training situation, when Tay Rock, you no, know, Rex ain't have nothing to do with that at all. Rex had nothing to do with that. Tay Rock knew that. He just wanted to shame Rock. I mean, he wanted to shame T-Rex to do that so that it could take the light off him to make T-Rex look like he was bogus. Man, for the most part, T-Rex was not even active in the battle rap community during the time that stuff was happening. Let alone interviews and all that type of stuff. He wasn't doing none of that stuff. So that's how we know that all that stuff was just a lie. But that's what Rock said and put out there. Just because he needed that heat off him. He needed that heat off him. Now, with that being said, Briz was actually during the time T-Rex and Rock was going through what they were going through by Angry Fan on the Angry Fan show. Are you Cave Gang or are you Dot Mob? Which one is it? Briz Rothstein said, I'm both. I didn't know they were different. When I joined, I joined believing they were the same thing. Do y'all remember that? Do y'all remember that? That's exactly what he said. But then Cap was like, okay, well, they into it now. So what is going to be? Which one you going to choose? He said, neither. It's both. They together. I'm Dot Mob and K Gang. That's what he said. Literally, clearly, literally. That's what he said. Out of his own mouth. With that being said. Then you agree to battle Murder Mook, who Dot Mob. But Murder Mook and Rock got into it when Murder Mook blasted Rock on 15 minutes. I'm blogging when Murder Mook blasted Tay Rock on his 15 minutes of fame interview with that female when she said Tay Rock was her favorite rapper. Then Murder Mook got to be out. Tay Rock, you know, the one who lost the hitman who just lost the and Rock didn't like that. So him and Mook had words. That's when Rock said he burned the dot mob flag. Remember that? With that being said, then Rock get into it with the Jeezy dude, the other member of dot mob. Rock having all these dot mob fallouts, right? Then behind that, now we see you have made it clear now you cave gang, even though you haven't had any fallouts with T-Rex now. Now, let's go a little deeper. 
who was in Bridge Rothstein Corner hyping him up, doing this whole battle, encouraging him to attack, to attack, to attack? Who was doing all that? Tay Rock. Roll the footage. Y'all know I can't use none of that footage, but it definitely in it. Can't wait till it come out. Can't wait till it come out. Rock right there. Encouraging Briz to keep applying the pressure. Kill them. Get them. Attack. Attack. And it just kept pumping Briz up. Kept motivating him. That was Rock. Rock wasn't even. Look, let me tell you something. Rock was gone the entire event. People who were coming up rapping was actually saying it in the battle. Rock ain't here. Rock ain't here. Then when it was time for Briz to hit the stage, guess who Guess who up and suddenly appear and come out? Tay Rock. He immediately, immediately is behind Briz Roth thing. Here's Tay Rock, cave gang leader. They all knew about Murder Moot's mother dying. They knew about it. Tay Rock knew about it also. None of them could deny this. Tay Rock knew about it all, all the time, too. too. Tay Rock lived on Twitter. So when Mook was tweeting it, Tay Rock definitely knew about it. Even T Top inside, when Mook did that, even T Top, this is what they sent to me. That T Top even gave his condolences inside of the Mook. See, they keep everything in battle rap. You put it out there, it's already downloaded. It's already downloaded. It's already screenshotted. They saved everything. They said they didn't know about Murder Mook Mother dying. But then showed the screenshot of T-Top actually uh, uh, giving his condolences to Mook when he posted it. Which means they had knowledge of it. Here's Bridge Roth thing, a member of Cave Gang. You don't think Rock heard them rounds? Who okayed it? Who signed off on it? Who checked on it? Right. Who was the engine driving them? Who who the hype man and cheerleader for all of them? Rock. And when you got your hype man cheering you on, who also is the leader of y'all game, the leader of y'all team, telling you to keep it going, keep applying pressure, get these dudes, kill them and smoke them and F them, all that. What you think moving and motivating him to do? See, that's the part y'all don't see that we forgot about. That's the part you don't see that we ain't forgot about. Just like the devil. You know when the devil in your head trying to get you to do something and the thoughts won't stop and he keep on trying to influence you, influence you, influence you, wear you down till you finally end up doing it so you can get the thought out your head? That's what Tay Rock was. And then when things hit the fan and smoke got popped, he was the first one to jet and flee. He already at the, how you immediately behind Briz Roth thing when the fight pop off. Briz getting popped off on, get hit, knocked out, over, get knocked over the bars, run past the hall, shoot straight down past the guy getting whooped. And guess who at the exit door? Guess who already at the exit? But who started out right behind this man, slapping his hand, hyping him up, encouraging him, hitting him on his chest, all doing the battle. Tay Rock. Tay Rock. Somebody actually also even said, I can't, I can't wait to get this. If y'all, please, somebody put the link. Somebody please put the link inside my comment section because I'm waiting for that. Somebody told me that Tay Rock actually put up a post or something saying about Calico Father, blackface is like, I would want no problems with blackface or something like that. Please tell me he didn't say that. I hope he didn't say that and that's not really true. I hope they were just trolling and pulling my leg on that. I haven't got it yet, but if that's true, somebody please put that in my description box. Because I know ain't no way this dude said that after Blackface then popped on his team and stuff like that. <laughs> I know he ain't say that. I know he ain't say that. I, 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 just, I don't even want to believe that. I don't want to believe that's true. But you also to blame, Tay Rock. You encouraged that. 
you had pre you had you had previous knowledge of Mook's mother death. You heard Bridge wrong thing rounds. You signed off on it. And not only that, not only did you sign off on it, you kept on, kept on encouraging that man to continue to apply pressure on them, which gave him the courage, the confidence to not only be disrespectful, but to also try them and go the extra mile because he had your back. And all the cave gang members there in the crowd and NWX with y'all. So now y'all one gang become two gangs. Then y'all also got affiliation with Goonies. So now y'all looking at it in three gangs. We three gangs in one. We cave gang, NWX, and Goonies. Oh, y'all think I'm lying? Y'all think I'm exaggerating? Well, let's go back to the Snake Eyes and Rock confrontation. Before this even happened, roll the footage. Y'all know I can't use none of that footage, but it's definitely out there. It's definitely out there. Who come and intervene in the midst of this heated argument? New Jersey twerk grabbed drugs back behind him. He come forward to rock and he says, I ain't finna let nobody touch you, my nigga. Rock, what? The leader of the Goonies, saying it to the leader of Cave Gang, who also is pairing up with Briz Roth thing and T Top NWX. Three gangs tied in together. Of course, it's confident level out. They know it. Remember, I told y'all in them small rooms, who controlled them small rooms together? NWX, Cave Gang, and Goonies. They won when they ain't going against each other. And tonight, Guess who they going up against? Calico, Murder Moot. Not one of them is Cave Gang, NWX, or Goni. So guess what? They the enemies. So definitely Briz had jumper cables on him. Moved by his leader. Only for his leader to leave him high and dry when it got to popping. I blame Tate Rock. I blame Tay Rock. Simple as that. Because you are the leader. And when you are the leader, these are the responsibilities that come with it. If your team do something stupid like that, that could jack off people's life and freedom, it falls on leadership. It falls on leadership because you're responsible for how they operate out in public. You the leader of Cave Gang. That's your game. You're le you the leader. So when your team do something that could put you in harm's way and jeopardize what you're doing, you are responsible for their actions. Did you know that? You didn't? Now you do. That's how come when we was when we when we was gang banging, we couldn't do nothing without we had to get we had to, we had to go through the proper chain of command. We had to get orders. We had to get orders to whack, orders to gang bang, orders to fight. Unless it was just something we couldn't uh, 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 avoid if the opposition tried to do something, but we couldn't just go out and be reckless and do things. That was a violation. Even in prison, you got to get permission. You can't do that because your action will jack off the entire organization and can let it can end brothers up losing their lives or getting incarceration so you got to get permission to do them things and did they get your permission they definitely did they got your blessings because you was right there edging them on to continue to apply pressure and disrespect them. And you also signed off on a round that you heard previously before going into the battle. And you made it your bedroom to be there front and center the entire way. I blame you. You did that too. You're responsible too, brother. You're not going to just get away with it like that. You not. You not. You not. At all. And that's battle truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. Subscribe to battle. Man, who breaks it down like that? Keep it 100. Who? They don't go that deep, do they? They don't, they, they don't get surgical like that. But I do. Subscribe to battle truth. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to follow you right back. You got my word on that. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to follow you back. I want to know. I want all my supporters to be with me, man. Listen.
we're going to build this one united front thing. And it's going to be built with real faithful, de uh, 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 devoted people, man. Loyal, real, devoted people. I ain't never given up on, 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 on what God showed me. I just got to put in a little bit more work. And that's okay. It's coming right along, man. Subscribe to Battle Truth. Click the link in the description box, man. Follow me. I'm going to follow you back. If you able to give, man, if you rock with what I'm doing, please support me in what I'm doing, man. If you want me to do a roasting session on anybody in favor of you, man, you're going to have to donate to the channel, man. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm put out my Battle Truth menu so y'all can know this. If you want to co-host with me and do a whole live show with me, and it's going to be set up, structured, real cold, with, with a real legitimate itinerary, you're going to have to donate to the channel, man. If you want to, um, dang, what was the other one? You know the other ones we are? I did the roasting session. I did the live one. What was the third one? It was the roasting session. It was live. No. Oh, that's what I meant. You're right. The live. You're right, sweetheart. Going live. If you want me to go live, you're going to have to donate for me to go live. I, I can't be wasting my time. So, look. For right now, that's what it is. I got to make my talents work for me and those who... Support me. Hey, y'all already know what it is. I already be giving y'all a lot of blogs and things. So look, this for the extra stuff. You want the roasting sessions? You're going to have to donate. I do the roasting session and honor your name against on anybody you want me to do it to. But you're going to have to uh, donate. If you want to be if you want to co-host with me and do a whole live show with me, man, for hour or two. Where just me with a real legitimate itinerary. We talk about breakdown. Look, we can do that. If you want me to go live, you're going to have to donate, man, because I, I just can't keep doing this for nothing like that. I can't keep doing this. So if you're able to give, please donate, man. It's much needed and appreciated. And it's your boy, Battle Truth. If it ain't my judgment, that's a question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.